So now, what is multiple sclerosis? Help me. Exactly, damage of damage of cells in the skin. Damage of the fish. Myelin shed. Damage of myelin. Damage of Okay. So very quickly, I tell you this, guys. Listen to me. So. What is this? What is this? A nerve. Okay. So nerve has a body. You see this one? You remember I explained about cells? I said every cell in your body has a... What is this? Nucleus. Nucleus. And, but the nerve is different than other cells in the body. The nerve. The nerve has the cell has the nucleus, has the mitochondria, ribosome, all those crap. But on top of that, nerve has one feature other parts of the body don't have. What is that one feature? There are some long legs connected to the nerve. Do you understand that? So these long, long, long legs, they carry electricity. Does that make sense? It means... They move electricity from this point all the way to the other point. Does that make sense or no? Good. So, so there is there is one one leg that always going out from the nerve, and there are multiple ones coming towards the nerve. You see that? And there is only one going out. Uh huh. The ones going towards the nerve, these ones, we call them, we call them dendrites. Okay? So the dendrite is the nerve which bring, so this is called, this is called neuron. Neuron. And these ones, we call it nerve. Clear? Actually, in some books, they believe neuron is the whole package. But again, it's, it's okay. Let's use it this way to understand. Neuron, these are nerve, or sometimes we call it nerve fibers. Okay? Nerve fibers. Okay. Anyways, the nerves, the nerve fibers that bring the electricity to the neuron, we call it, ha, dendrite. The one that taking it out, we call it axon. Axon. Does that make sense? Your body is full of these nerves. You have billions of these nerves. They connect one point to another point. Sometimes they connect the eye to the brain. Sometimes connect the brain to the muscle. Sometimes connect the uh, uh, brain to the glands, skin to the brain. You know, like different points go to different points. The whole purpose is electricity go to one point to another. Is it really electricity? Yes, it is electricity with a very low voltage. That's the reason... Your body works with electricity. That's the reason when, when you have a heart problem, they give you the electrical shock because they, they give a big amount of electricity to your body suddenly. So your body works with electricity, but very low voltage compared to the, this electricity. Does that make sense? But we never call it electricity. What do we call this? What do we call this? Maximus. What do we call this in, in medicine? What do we call it? We don't call it electricity. What do we call it? We call it action potential. Anytime somebody says action potential, means what? Means electricity. Means the same order, order which is moving through the nerves. Electrical movement is going through the nerve. We call it what? Action potential. Clear or no? Very easy so far. What is your question, Maximus? The nerve no, tissue. Like it's like a tube, yes. Where is the no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. This is nerve fiber. Okay, nerve fiber usually is two types, either dendrite or axon. Now you understand? Good. 
the dendrite going towards the nerve, the axon going from the nerve outside. How many dendrites you have in the nerve? You can have one, two, three, four, ten. How many axon you have? Axon is only, always is one. Always one. We never have the outside nerve is more than one. Is that clear? Can I go next? There is one common question. Huh? Huh? It's better you don't understand. It's okay. Uh, um, um, action potential is the is the is the order. Electricity. You know electricity moving to the to this. Electricity is is moving. Can I go next page? Yeah. When you have electricity in the wire, electricity electricity in the wire is the result of is the result of moving electrons okay there are some chemicals we call it electrons okay action potential which is the the electrical orders order i mean order they say like oh do this do that you understand what i mean electrical orders in the nerve is the result of moving moving electro electrolytes such as you know what what can we cannot type Ele uh, um, elements or minerals such as such as sodium and potassium mm -hmm. uh, um, let's say for example your brain want to send a message to the to the muscle to contract right this message is called action potential or you feel pain in the skin the skin start there's a needle goes to your skin okay your brain feels it right how brain knows that because there is an action potential is going through the nerve to the brain and brain knows that does that make sense? But what is, the, what is the reason of that? Because sodium and potassium is moving inside the nerve. Mm -hmm. Now you know why you need sodium and potassium in the body, right? Sodium and potassium. Sodium is called, uh, they don't ask Na positive. Potassium is uh, K positive, okay? Because the medical, the, because the Latin name for sodium is, uh, is, uh, is uh is uh is uh shut up is uh <laughs> natrium the medical name for sorry the, the 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 latin name for potassium is kalium don't make a name guys country kalium this is latin yes kalium natrium okay that's why we call it na and this one is called K, okay? Sodium and potassium, which you have so many foods, they have sodium, potassium, salt. You need that, right? You need that. So, 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 you have this action potential in the nerves, okay? They used to ask about which direction sodium goes, which direction potassium. They don't ask anymore. It's like two, three years, they don't ask. I don't want to bother you with that. I just want to tell you there is sodium, potassium. They used to say, oh, sodium moves inside the nerve. Potassium goes outside the nerve, which one which happens, okay? So they don't ask anymore, so I don't explain it right now. I, I, as far as you know, this is enough. So what I want to say is that what makes the nerve to go fast, action potential, or slow? Some nerves are very fast. Some nerves are very slow, right? What is it? What is it? Can I go next page? Huh? If he has myelin sheet, is faster or slower? Faster. If it's naked, it's faster or slower? Slow. Anybody naked is a slow because you cannot really, you're shy. You just want to do okay. Can I go next page? Okay. So, so the speed of nerve, we never call it the speed of nerve. We call it conduction of nerve. Okay. Conduction of nerve. And dot means what? And dot means what? And dot means what? 
N dot means nerve. I can scream, you cannot, okay? Okay. Conduction of nerve or speed or a speed of nerve, speed of nerve depends on two factors. Two factors determine the speed of nerve. What are the two factors? Number one is the myelin sheet. Okay? If you have myelin sheet, you go faster. I will tell you what is myelin sheet, okay? I will tell you what is myelin sheet. Number two is something else. What is it? Uh, determines if the nerve is fast or slow. Uh-huh. Natalia? No sheet. Exactly. Exactly. No sheet. Is that? I already told you that one. Number two is what? Is action potential. Exactly wrong. The, the 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 width of nerve it means it means if the nerve is wider is faster or slower faster. how many of you say the wider nerve is faster slower. how many is slower exactly wrong wider is faster okay uh, sometimes you say, oh, it's wider, the disc goes fast, it's slower. Just remember this. The nerves are exactly like roads. When, it's, when you're in a small road, it's fast or slow? When you go to highway, become what? Become fast. Remember, the nerves are like highways. Thicker, bigger, faster. Make sense? So, stop talking. So, it means the nerves are three speeds based on the myelin and based on the size. I will show you. We have three, can I go? We have three types of nerves based on three types of nerves based on, based on what? Based on speed, based on conduction. Make sense? There is one is we call it A type of nerve, B type of nerve, and C type of nerve. A is very fast. A is very fast. Make sense? B is medium, double, double, and C is slow. Good? Very good. So, so the A, you can guess, is it wide or is it slow? Uh, is it wide or thin? Is it, is it myelinated with myelin or without myelin? With, we call it wide myelinated. This is the word they call it. It means what? It means it's very fast. Clear? Huh? Yeah. Very good. The medium speed nerves, which is a lot of nerves, medium speed, they are what? They are they are wide or thin? They are thin, but they are myelinated. So they make it what? Make it fast, but not too fast. Clear? So it's thin myelinated. Does that make sense? Number C, the, the third one, or very slow nerves, are thin and myelin or no myelin? Unmyelinated, they call it. But the big question is here, what is myelin? I keep saying myelin, myelin sheet, what the hell is that? Excuse me? What is myelin? So let's learn this one, and then after I will... I tell you an example that you all understand. You look at me and you talk, you think you don't know what you're talking, right? So, okay. So, 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 <clears throat> I, so, I want to say what I forgot. No, no, before that. Oh, I'll tell you an example, you understand the speed of the nerve, okay? All, all of you have experienced when you burn your finger, right or no? What happens is when you touch, when you touch something very hot, right? What happens? When you touch something very hot, two things happen. Two things happen. Number one, you move your finger like that. After you move your finger like that, after about three, four seconds, you start feeling the pain, the burn. Yes or no? At the moment, you don't feel anything. After you start feeling, you all have, you know why? 
because the reflex movement is, is with A type of nerve. But the feeling of pain of burning is a slow nerve. It takes about three seconds from here, goes to your brain. But reflex is less than millimeter of seconds. So it goes like that. So do you do like that after you start feeling it? Do you understand that? There is two nerves at the same time stimulated. One nerve for reflex, one nerve for feeling. But feeling happened three seconds after. You see, that's a C type of fiber. That's an A type of fiber. Do you understand what I mean? Good. Excuse me? Huh? I said that when you have, when you touch, when you touch something sharp, you see, you're telling me to feel and you just touch it. So when you touch something sharp, a needle, right, what happens? When you touch a needle, you just suddenly move your hand, but you don't feel the needle at the moment. When you take it out, after about two, three seconds, you start feeling pain, right? What is the reason? The reason is, at the same time, two nerves are stimulated. One is the A nerve, A type of nerve, which pushing your move very fast. That's a fast nerve. The other one is C nerve, which is stimulate, which tells you that you have pain there. But that takes about two, three seconds you hear it because you feel it because it's very, very slow. Do you understand that? You understand that? A is very fast. It's not A is reaction, C is this. A, the reflexes of the body, the nerve is A type of nerve. The pain is C type of C type of nerve. You never feel pain that fast. Pain is always very slow. Okay? Good. So now what I'm going to tell you is this. Can I go next page? Yes. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you what is myelin sheet. Myelin sheet is this. When you have a nerve, just imagine you have a nerve. This is a nerve. Okay? This is a nerve. If the nerve has myelin sheet, there is a cover, which this cover like a sausage around the nerve. You see that? It's like this. Teresa, are you tired? Teresa, are you tired? I didn't sleep last night. How come you guys? So it's like this. This is a cut. So it's like a sausage around the nerve. You see that? So this is called myelin sheath. Uh huh. Myelin sheath. Not shed. Sheath. <laughs> it's like a sausage, yes. You mean this? I remember how. It means this, if electricity comes here, electrical impulse come here, normally it has to go through nerve, yes or no? But here it doesn't happen. If you have a myelin sheet, electricity comes here, it doesn't go through the nerve, it jumps to the next point. And then from here, jumps to the next point, and then from here, jumps to the next point. So you see how fast it's going to be compared to the C type of fiber, which is going like very, 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 very slow. Does that make sense? So, 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 because jump, the name of these holes here is what? We call them nodes. So we call them nodes of Ranvier. French name. Nodes of Ranvier. Okay? So, this is normal body is working your body right now that you're sitting here. And you're so sleepy, all these nerves are working, okay? The problem is this. In MS, which is the disease that happens genetically in some people, you know what happens? Because of autoimmune reasons, you know what happens? A part of this myelin sheet, it gets destroyed. Like this. You see that? So myelin sheet gets destroyed. What happens is like this. Does that make sense or no? You see, somebody bites the sausage. So what happens here? Electricity comes here. Electricity comes here to this point. Oh, my God. Electricity comes to this point. Then what happens from here? It goes here and then stops. It doesn't go anywhere. So here, there is no electricity coming here. Do you understand what I mean? So, so anywhere you have this point is like this. This damage of the myelin, there, there, is no, there is no electricity passing through. So what is the result here? 
What is the result this side? Nothing. If it's a movement, it stops. If it's the feeling sensation, let's say it's a skin sensation, you don't feel it. Does that make sense? If it's the vision eye, you don't see it. But the good thing is, this happens in the morning you wake up, this happens. Right? Just in the morning. You wake up, it happens. In two, three weeks after, it will heal. The body, it will heal itself. Stop it. Okay? Do you understand that? So after two, three weeks, the body will heal this. So, so you can, so you wake up in the morning, not you, I mean somebody, wake up in the morning, you cannot see in the left eye. Okay? Then what happens? You don't see three weeks, four weeks, and then after three weeks, slowly you start seeing again. Does that make sense? Or you wake up in the morning, you, your arm is like this, paralyzed, right? And then after three weeks, it's slowly getting better, 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 better. This is a long life disease. So every three, four weeks, you have this condition comes. Three weeks comes, and then six months is sleeping. Disease is sleeping, no problem. Again, come back again. Do you understand what I mean? Anytime you have a stress, the attack will come. That's why you say you have to always be relaxed. Okay? One more thing. Why do we call, what, what, do, what is this point of damage? Did this damage, point of damage, we call it the sclerosis. Why we call it multiple sclerosis? Because when the disease attacks your body, it doesn't happen in one point. It happens in multiple points. Does that make sense? It means, for example, random points. It happens in the right frontal lobe, one point. What happens here? It means the left side, you're going to be like that. Make sense? It happens in the in the occipital lobe of the left side. Okay? It means what? It means you don't see on the right side. Does that make sense? It happens in the in the left temporal lobe, you lose memory. It happens in the right temporal lobe, you cannot talk. You see? All this that happens. At the, so when you wake up in the morning... The person has this. The right leg is paralyzed. The left arm has numbness. The left eye cannot see. And she cannot control the urine. It's losing the, the diaphragm. Does that make sense? So very random points, they're not related to each other. You remember in hemiplegia, I said half of body paralyzed? Because totally, you know, the left side of the brain is damaged, frontal lobe, very clear. But when it's random points, means what? means the first thing comes to your mind is multiple sclerosis. What is the story of these patients? After three weeks, everything goes to normal. The normal, normal, three months, four months, perfectly fine. Make sense? Again, attack comes. This time, is it the same points? No. Different, Different things. Next time is going to be, uh, uh, you know that this is MS. Now you understand. There's going to be totally different other points. Like this time, this paralysis of this side, numbness of Bell's palsy of this side. You understand what I mean? Like random things. The bad thing is this. In these patients, after two, three, four years, when we have these repeated attacks, if one point repeatedly happens, that becomes permanent. So the body cannot heal anymore. So sometimes you see after 10 years, these patients, uh, 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 they are already paralyzed. Even between attacks, they're paralyzed. Or they cannot control urine. Or they, they cannot see on the right side because that becomes permanent. Nobody knows what's going to happen next time. Does that make sense? It's an unpredictable disease that each time... Does. What is the reason? Autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is genetic. Nobody knows. Yes. So there is risk factors for activation of the disease. Let's say you have a disease. You know if you have stress, if you have fever, if you have this and that, there is more chance to activate the disease. Does that make sense? But to start, nobody knows. This mostly genetic relationship to family, whatever, whatever. Clear? You ask me a question and then you listen to her answer. Female. MS is much more, much more common in female. Sorry about that. I think 4 to 1, most MS patients start between 20 to 30 year old. It start. Start age is between 20 to 30. Yes. And most of them are ladies, like lupus. Ah, okay. I'm one day, it couldn't Usually not. In that time of attack, you wake up in the morning, all the attacks is showing itself. That's it. You have all of them perfectly. It means paralysis and losing numbness, eye vision, whatever. 
That happen, that is going to be four or five weeks. It continues the same until getting better. Every day you feel it's getting better and better and better. Is that your question? Yeah. The next attack is the same points or other points? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, fast, fast. I'm going to write it down, and I'll give you a couple of questions, and that's it. Okay. Pregnant lady. One second, I don't know, Coach. What do you mean? Is it possible the MS patient become pregnant? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Oh, no, 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 not necessarily. It's a genetic disease, but not 100% going to next generation. Depends on so many. I think if one of the parents has, I think about 10%, 12% will go to the to the kid. I think so. I'm not. I can double check. If if both parents have it, the chance become 25, 30%. Not 100%. Yeah. Affects, for sure. Depends on where it's involved. You know what I mean? Depends on if the muscles of the, the pelvic diaphragm involved, it might affect on the baby, you know? Depends on which part of the body involved, yes. But so many of them, I know they had a good pregnancy, no problem. But pregnancy is a risk factor for activation of the disease because of a lot of stress. You know what I mean? Because of a lot of stress, Pain, everything, it, it activating the disease. That's why they don't recommend them to become pregnant. But so many of them, they're pregnant, they have a baby, no problem. Can I go? We have MS mild and MS severe too. Some cases have MS very mild, not no problem. Some cases very severe. In two years, they put them in the wheelchair and then a lot of problems they have. Some people, 20 years, no problem. Depends on how lucky you are. Can I go next page? My sister is uh, now is 44 year old. I'm 40, 40, yeah, 44 year old, and she three years ago she was diagnosed with MS in the age of 41, right? Uh, but it's very mild, very mild. She has uh, leg pain because pain nerves get involved. Uh, uh, some one of the legs getting uh, it happens every six months. One of the nerves getting, uh, one of the legs getting paralyzed, um, and numbness in the arm, or these very mild ones. It's not like very severe ones. So it has every six months has like two three weeks attack. But she's taking medications, like a good medications to postpone this, and a lot of lack of stress. They make sure the family, I mean her family, make sure that always everything is fine and stuff. So, but uh, but it's a mild one. It means I have in my blood. That's the meaning of it, right? <laughs> yeah. Postpone the autoimmune attack. Exactly. Postpone. It's very important to do that. During the attack, we give them suppressing immune system. Between attack, there is a beta globulin. There is the type of medication which postpones the next attack. As far as, so your goal is not to heal the disease. You cannot. To postpone the next attack as far as possible. So then you have less attack. There is a less chance to become permanent these problems. Does that make sense? Yes. See, this is MS. I want you to have a picture. If a patient comes, I have MS, you know, oh, how come you're walking normal? Because he's between attacks. Okay? So don't tell them, because this is like no problem right now. Make sense? Can I write it down? MS is, uh, MS is the autoimmune disease. It means your own immune system attacks your own body. Make sense? Huh? Autoimmune disease that immune system attacks to what? Attacks to what? Attacks to a myelin sheet. Myelin sheet of CNS. Make sense? Myelin sheets of CNS, central nervous system. When the myelin sheet, when the myelin sheet is damaged, there is no nerve conduction. Make sense? It means there is no nerve moving, nothing. Electrical impulse stops. What if action potential doesn't pass? Good. This happens in multiple <clears throat> points of brain 
That's why we call it what? Multiple sclerosis. Depends on which points of brain, which points of brain have the damages, the signs and symptoms are different. Does that make sense? Depends on which points. But the sign and symptoms are random in different areas of the body in sensory or motor in different areas sensory motor could be sensory could be motor do you understand that mcq please please after each attack the client will go to a remission phase remission is what means sleeping right remission phase for three to six months until the next attack now you understand right huh remission means getting better like normal healing Remission means disease go to sleep. Okay? Remission means disease go to sleep. Not you go to sleep. You're not a bear. <laughs> nah! I'm recording. <laughs>